What's going on guys? This is Jacob Amaral here. In today's video, we're gonna be building a trading bot with Interactive Brokers utilizing their API in Python. Interactive Brokers is one of the biggest brokerages worldwide for retail traders. It's publicly traded on the stock market and has a market cap of over $20 billion. So they're very, very trustworthy and they have an amazing API. You can trade stocks, options, futures, and Forex all on their API, uh, where a lot of other brokerages fail. They don't allow options trading or futures trading uh, like TD Ameritrade. Interactive Brokers covers pretty much the whole spectrum when it comes to um, you know trading assets on publicly traded markets. So in today's video, we're gonna be setting up um, the Interactive Brokers API and building a bot with it. And then in future videos in episode two and three, uh, this will probably be a three or four part series, we'll actually be building strategies and executing trades on the Interactive Brokers API, okay? Um, there's other routes if you want to streamline the process, like, like using third-party software such as NinjaTrader, which uh, connect directly with the Interactive Brokers API, and you can use their API to, to place trades. But I'm assuming that a lot of you don't wanna spend a lot of money to buy third-party software, and you just wanna build it uh, from scratch and, and learn the whole process of utilizing uh, an API for a brokerage. So in this episode, we're gonna be setting up the Interactive Brokers API and doing our first connection. So let's get started and enjoy the video. All right, guys, so let's get started building our first trading bot using the Interactive Brokers API. We're gonna be doing this tutorial in Python, which is a very popular language, and I know a lot of you viewers watching probably know a little bit of Python. Uh, if not, you know, I'll go slow, and you know, you can learn uh, not only Python, but also how to build a trading bot in this video. So I'm gonna be using um, Visual Studio, which is a editor, uh, very common um, by Microsoft. So I'm gonna create a new project. Uh, we want a Python application. That's probably good enough. I'm gonna select next. I'm gonna call this Interactive Brokers Bot. That's what we'll call it. Hit create. Oh, I already have a project called Interactive Brokers Bot. Okay. Uh, Python bot? Perfect. Awesome. So it created the project for us. The next step is connecting and importing the IB API. So um, there's two ways to do this. One, you could do a, if I right click my project here on the right and hit open command prompt, we're gonna be using the IB API. So pip install IB API, I can actually copy it here. So Interactive Brokers has a, um, actually no, I think they're links here. They have a C-sharp, Java, VB, C++, and Python um, libraries. So we'll be doing Python. Um, so I think I pasted it. There we go. Oops, I put a slash. I already have it installed, but that's what you want to do. Pip install IB API. Okay. So that's one way to do it if you have Python already installed in your computer. If you don't have Python installed in your computer, you probably couldn't make this project. You're gonna to have to go to, you're gonna to have to install the Python environments in uh, Visual Studio. So if you go to, I believe it's tools and then get tools and features. Anyways, there, there should be a Python, yeah, Python development. So check this and then hit install while downloading. If you don't have it installed, if you do, you're good to go. Um, and that would install the IB API after doing pip install IB API that installs the IB API um, into our Python library. And then there's another way to do it as well. Here we go. So if you expand Python environments and then you'll see Python and then your version number here, if you right click that and hit manage Python packages, you can also search IB API here and install it. Um, so that'll work as well if you don't wanna use the command line. Okay. So once again, in your in your Solution Explorer here, uh, expand your Python environments and then right click Python 3.8 and hit manage Python packages and then search IB API. And then this will probably, I already have it installed, but this will probably come up saying run command pip install IB API. 
click that. I mean, we're good to go. And then we should be able to import it. And it should become pink. Okay. So that should be good. Um, so we've set up our IDE, our editor. We've installed the Interactive Brokers API. Let's start building the actual connection, right? Let's be able to connect. So the next step to uh, before we start coding is you're going to have to download the desktop client for Interactive Brokers. Now they have two types of clients. They have something called IB Gateway. Um, I don't recommend installing this yet. This is basically a no user interface. It's very lightweight uh, connection for their API. Um, I would only install this once you become more of an intermediate or expert with their um, with their API and with running trading bots. Uh, I would just download their, uh, it's called TWS, Trader Workstation. And this has a full user interface of all your positions for your, your stocks or whatever assets you're in. Um, and you can see, you know, the orders, the entry times and stuff like that. So if you just Google search uh, Trader Workstation, um, this will come up and you can download it. I mean, I'll probably put the link in the description. Here we go. Uh, so TWS latest, that's what I would do. Okay, so you're gonna need this because when our, our bot connects, uh, A, we need the software running to connect it. Um, Interactive Brokers does not support OAuth yet. Um, so you need the TWS or IB Gateway running live in order to connect to it. So um, that's where you download it here. So download and set that up. Okay, so next up, we're gonna create a class for the Interactive Brokers connection. Um, so this will allow us to initiate that connection and then we'll have a separate class we'll, which will actually handle the bots logic, including connecting to it. So uh, we'll call it uh, class IB API and it has the e wrapper and e client as arguments. And then we'll define the init function and that will instantiate a new version of the client. We'll pass in both the e wrapper and e client. Is that correct? Yep. Okay, and then we're gonna have a separate class for our bot. Uh, we'll call it bot logic. It's class bot. Oops. Um, let's make a variable for it. We'll call this IB. Set it to nothing first, and then In our init method, we'll instantiate our IB API class and we'll just pass this in. Is that... Oh, he doesn't instantiate anything. And in our net, we'll instantiate it to our IB API. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, oops, I forgot. Do I need parentheses if I have no parameters? Okay. See if that works. And then at the bottom here, we should be able to uh, we'll just do and that should work. I should instantiate it. Yep. Okay, so we have two classes. We have one for our IB API, right? And this will instantiate a new client to connect to the IB API. And then we have our bot logic, which will handle our strategies, connections, that sort of stuff in our bot class. And at the bottom of the program, we instantiate a new bot. So let's actually connect uh, to the uh, Interactive Brokers API using sockets. Um, so step one, um, like I said in the other or earlier, make sure you set up your configuration correctly. So open Trader Workstation, um, at the top left here, hit file, 
global configuration, click API, then settings, make sure your socket port, you know what that is and make sure read only is unchecked. And what we're gonna do is call connect, ib.connect, uh, we're gonna connect to localhost, have our port ready, 7496, and then a connection ID, I'll just put it to one. And then we're gonna call the run function, which will actually uh, run the connection and have an update. So let's run it. So I got an error message, couldn't connect to TWS, confirm that enable ActiveX and socket E clients is enabled and connection port is the same as socket port. Okay. So what did I do wrong here? 7496 enabled. Yeah, that looks all good. Oh, my bad guys. <laughs> my local host port was missing a period. All right, should be good now. And awesome, it's connected, right? Market data farm connection is okay. SEC definition, awesome. Historical market data is all connected. All right. So we are all connected and we're ready to start creating logic to create a trading bot. That's awesome. So, um, I'll add another comment here, connect to IB um, on init. So what I envision next, the next step is start coding um, the strategy and, and with doing that, we're gonna have to get data from Interactive Brokers. So probably the next episode will be retrieving data from Interactive Brokers um, and using that data uh, with our logic for our strategy to buy and sell. So. I'm gonna stop it here, guys. We successfully, um, you know, had a connection to the Interactive Brokers API. In the next episode, we'll be getting historical and real-time streaming data. And then in the third and fourth episode, we'll be building a logic to build our first trading bot with Interactive Brokers, okay? So I hope you found a ton of value in this video. Um, if you did, please leave a comment below and hit the like button. It helps me a ton. Um, and let me know what you wanna see in future episodes uh, going forwards and Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. So we'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.